Alma Del Jaguar is an additive free tequila that not only tastes good, it also does good, and it's brand new to Chicago. And joining us with all the details is Osito's tap owner, Mark Moreno, and bar manager, Julie Valencia. Thank you both, Mike, sorry, I told you Mark, no Mike. Worries. Uh, <laughs> thank you both for coming in. Uh, tell us a little bit more about this tequila. It's new to the market, but it also works for a wonderful cause. Yeah, 100%. So Alma Del Jaguar is a brand new. Oh, say that it again. I like it. Say it because I said Alma Del Jaguar. Say it again, one. Alma Del Jaguar oh. or Jaguar. You can say yeah. it either way. Okay. It's easy because there's a Jaguar on the front, and that is our mission right there. Mm -hmm. So we actually donate a portion of our proceeds to the Northern Jaguar Project in Mexico. Mm. And so every bottle you have is helping to save Jaguars and also bring light some information on Jaguars over in northern Mexico as well as northern or I should say southern parts of uh, the U.S. as well like Arizona and New Mexico. Mm. So how did the owner's family get involved with Jaguars? So Macaulay Williams, the owner of Alma del Jaguar, his uncle was the one that went down to Mexico, fell in love with the project and decided to open up his own conservatory to help save Jaguars. And that's the whole mission behind it. You know, when you look at the bottle, it's recycled cork, mm. recycled glass, even recycled agave fiber paper that we use because we want 100% sustainability. Oh, wow. Yeah. And it has produced a wonderful product that Julie has managed to come up with some wonderful recipes yes. for us to share today. So what are, what's the first one we're going to try? So the first one we're going to do is a paloma. Okay. Uh, very, you know one of my favorites. Very, cool. It's very popular. Uh, you can come to a bar and find it too. Um, so, Erositos, do you do all of the concoctions you two together, the different drinks? Um, it's definitely, so definitely a team effort okay. where we encourage the team to also, um, you know, put their own cocktails on the menu or okay. if everybody has different notes they pick up sure. on with tequila, agave, whiskey. Um, so everybody kind of has a different perspective on cocktails. I love um, that. Um, yeah. So we started it's with what? Uh... So we're starting off with lime juice. Okay. Um, Paloma is very popular in Mexico. Mm -hmm. um, but it's also like a very, of the people drink, very simple to make at home too. Okay. Um, so you could easily juice this. You could pre-juice or you could just like cut and do as you go. Okay. Um, so lime juice uh, is one of the main ingredients as well as grapefruit. Okay. Um, we're gonna do... It's a very tasty. Yeah. It is a very tasty. Yeah, it's so refreshing favorites. too. Yep. Yes, you exactly. Know, whether it's getting nicer here. Yes, exactly. Yes. We think of it as... carne asada. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, carne asada. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. And so then... we're doing lime, grapefruit. Mm -hmm. uh, we use agave at the bar. Mm -hmm. uh, just kind of naturally pairs well with the quila. Is that also. agave or an agave syrup? It's an agave syrup. Oh, okay. And are you going to use the Blanco with this or the Reposado? We're going to use the Blanco. Okay. Uh, the Blanco is nice and peppery. Mm -hmm. So typically, Palomas are topped off with um, soda water. Um, the pepperiness of the Blanco is going to pair really well with the juice, uh, with the agave, and then the sparkling water kind of like brings all the flavor to the forefront. Okay, and now, what's that you're adding? Pardon, actually. Oh, 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 I was like, <laughs> okay, that's right new. Yeah. Okay. Mike, talk a little bit about the additive free because I feel like yeah. that is relatively new to the tequila market. So, well, additive free has always been around, but it's becoming a little bit more well known these mm. days. So, when people talk about additive free, a lot of people are like, okay, what is additive free? Right. Well, that's tequila that has nothing that's actually being added in after the fact. Mm. Down in Mexico, you are actually allowed to use up to 1% or more sometimes of additives in your tequila, such as, um, you know, you could use vanilla extract, okay. you Ooh. could put agave nectar in there, such as like what we're utilizing for the cocktails, okay. caramel syrups, all of these things are additives inside there. And because of that, you're gonna have tequilas that will give you those really bad hangovers. Yes, oh, yes. that's the stuff that there makes you, you feel bad. But with the reposado, how do you get those extra flavors in there? Yeah, wonderful question. So when it comes to the reposado, the reason why we have this wonderful color and everything going on in there is because we're aging it mm -hmm. in ex Chardonnay barrels, Got it. as well as ex bourbon barrels. Mm -hmm. So as yeah, it ages ahead, in there, um, that's when you're gonna get that nice coloring. Oh, so, yeah. Okay. yeah. Right. Yeah, it's great tequila, and like I said, you know, when it comes to additive free, it's you could taste yes. the quality and the difference. It is a night and day difference. All right, and so you are just now introducing this into the Chicago market? So we got it into the Chicago market late October, mm -hmm. um, but it's really taken off, and, and we've gotten into some wonderful locations around Chicago mm -hmm. uh, with bars and uh, local liquor stores. Okay. Right. And of course, you guys have it. 
it at your bar. We have it at my bar. <laughs> we have it at my liquor store, Moreno's Liquors. Uh, Binnie's just picked it up, so we're in 30 different locations currently uh, over with Binnie's, as well as a plethora of other really wonderful independent liquor stores. Okay, tell us what about Osito and what, that's, yeah. and what you guys do there. So Osito's Tap is a mix oh, of mm -hmm. that old world and new world vibe. So it's a classic cheers. speakeasy style bar. Mm -hmm. Salute, cheers, I hope mm -hmm. you all like it. You know, again, Ooh, just a good. very well-made. We only have 30 seconds left. If you want to throw the next one together quickly Got while it. he's finishing up, that'd mm -hmm. be great. For sure. So the whole premise of the bar itself, Ositos Tap, is supposed to showcase that kind of rich culture and heritage. Mm -hmm. uh, the cocktail that she's currently working on is going to be uh, a riff on a Sazerac that we that we have, mm -hmm. except we're utilizing the Reposado with that. And so um, what is this one called? So Tequani. So this one Have right here, it? <laughs> yeah, it's Nahual, uh, which means wild, uh, wild cat. Okay. Mm. So we wanted to make sure that we're paying homage to our history, our past, as well as obviously Al Madal Hawar. Mm, that's mm. so cool. Yeah. And so what does this have in this, uh, Julie? This one, so we want to highlight the reposado for mm -hmm. Al Madal is very light body. Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure to highlight the spirit, not hide it with any extra syrups or citrus. Mm -hmm. um, that's why we're doing a Sazerac that's more spirit forward. Mm -hmm. um, so with this, we made a pomegranate molasses syrup, um, spiced pomegranate molasses syrup. Sazeracs typically have a uh, pastel bitters, mm -hmm. but we also added some uh, chocolate mole, mole bitters. Oh, oh wow, that's I like very it. Very tasty. Yeah. All right. Fantastic. So do some of the proceeds from the tequila go towards the wildlife yeah. um, the, preserve? 100%, so the Northern Jaguar Project is the uh, conservatory we have 10% of all our proceeds going back to that. Mm. So that's very important. Um, but yeah, I mean, this tequila right here is wonderful. If you guys want to look up these cocktails, they're on the website for Almada Jaguar Tequila. Perfect. I love it. Yeah. Right there, right. we just saw that on the screen, as well as the location for Ositos. If you want to go and have them make the drinks for you. All right. <laughs> all right. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you try so that much. coming up. Yeah.